Welcome to Okaloosa Today, local news and information. Connecting the communities of Fort Beach, Destin, and Okaloosa County. Welcome to Okaloosa Today and Happy New Year. It's 2017, a brand new season for Okaloosa Today, a new format. The City of Fort Walton Beach and the City of Destin have teamed up again to bring you some wonderful content throughout the year. I'm Doug Rayner with the City of Destin and we'll get started right now with the City of Destin Mayor, Scott Fisher. Mayor, thanks for being here today. Well, thanks for having me. I'm I'm pr very proud to kick off the first show in the new format. Yeah, you are you are a guinea pig as well as I am, and I think this is going to work out very well. Uh, uh, you are here because we have some exciting news to tell, and it's uh, something that's been going on. It's a tradition here in the city. Uh, your state of the city address coming up. Yes, February sixteenth of uh, next month. We will give. I will be giving the thirty second uh, consecutive. State of the Union address for the city of uh, Destin. It's one of uh, one of the most historic events in our young city's life. So, so to be the to give the thirty second uh, State of the City address has got to feel good. Um, I know you're proud to talk about the things that took place uh, over the year of 2016 and to forecast a little bit about ne this coming year. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. It's uh, required by our city charter. Mm -hmm. This will be our 32nd consecutive uh, State of the City addresses. Uh, this will be my first, and it will be February 16th uh, of next month, of course. And I will be uh, giving the address and look forward to any citizen in Destin or anyone interested mm -hmm. to please come down and join us. Well, it's going to be a, a, a very interesting event. Uh, we'll provide some a reception about 515 and then over at the City Hall Annex where the council normally meets, you'll give that presentation. Uh, I think we have a lot of faith that you'll do a really good job and, and that's again today we're going to preview a little bit of that and talk a little bit about uh, some of the things you'll discuss in more detail at the at the event. So let's let's kind of move into why we have something to talk about, and that's the fact that there's a strategic vision and a, and a planning pro process that the council goes through every year to um, to create those those work plans and 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 move the city forward. And I think we have a we have something to show. It's a visioning uh, strategic plan. And tell us a little bit about the annual visioning process you took place in last year. Yes, last year was my first time, and it's quite extensive. The city council and the key members of the staff meet, and they begin by looking at the direction the city has been going, the vision and plans that the previous city council have, things that have not been completed, uh, things they would have liked to have gotten into and maybe never started. And we begin there and build on that. Uh, many of the council members, of course, will have their own ideas of where the city of Destin should be going. Mm -hmm. Last year, there were three new people on the council. And whenever you bring in new groups, as you as you well know, there's going to be new directions, new visions, and and uh, and there was, and we sat down and went through a rather lengthy process, and to really set the stage for where the city's going, and how the professional administrators of the city will take the city into the next year. The city council primarily sets a tone, mm -hmm. and the administrators of the city fulfill that. That's right. You, you created that roadmap, and that's really where we'll pick up now is those accomplishments from 2016 that a, that a previous council had had visions for that your council last year proceeded with and then and the administration and worked through. Let's, let's talk about some of those highlights, and one of them was um, something that's late in the year, the Joe's Bayou Recreation Expansion Area. The city bought some property. Tell us a little bit about that project. Parks have, uh, at least the last few years, have become a very big part of the city of Destin, particularly as far as our spending. Mm -hmm. As much money is going into parks as any other single item, and we're quite proud of the parks. Uh, this year we uh, have obtained a new piece of property for uh, Joe's Bayou Park. It's a four-acre lot that we purchased for $2 million. Uh, it has a lot of old concrete and rock and debris on it, and it's going to take a major cleanup before mm -hmm. that's going to be ready, and then we'll go through a planning process. The um, 5,000 pounds of concrete and the 2,500 pounds of rock are being bid out now. Uh, 
it appears that it's going to be profitable to sell that, mm -hmm. so it's not going to be an expense to the city to clean the property. But once we have it cleaned, we'll have to go through engineering design mm -hmm. and then actually obtain grant money uh, to construct the park. And we've already started that process, so I think our citizens would be glad to know we're looking at alternative ways to, to, to pay for some of these things. Yes. Um, let's move into another park, the uh, Heritage Park and Clement Taylor Park. They saw a good bit of movement last year, at least on paper, because they have some Restore Act money coming to them. Yes, both parks have Restore Act money coming. Of course, the um, Heritage Park is uh, moving a little bit slower than we had hoped. Uh, we have some litigation involved there. Uh, one of the owners of the property adjoining uh, us is we, we have a little dispute over egress and ingress of, the, of uh, some old property rights that mm -hmm. may or may not have existed on the property. Those are going to have to be cleared. The property owner on the other side is also joined or asked to join in litigation over, over this piece of property. Uh, so those will probably slow us down a little bit, but just as soon as uh, we can resolve the current litigation, which I hope will be in this year, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be in a position to start spending the money from the uh, Restore Act funds when we get them. That's right. Yeah, I think the, uh, the, um, the the federal government is holding some of that. They're reviewing some things, and we're trying to move that forward. Again, that's a, to build Heritage Park over on the harbor and to renovate Clement Taylor Park on, uh, on Calhoun Avenue. And speaking of Calhoun Avenue, right next to that is an, a, a, a really a high note, and that's the Leonard Destin Park, or the future, soon-to-be Leonard Destin Park. Yes, that is a very nice three-acre piece of property on Choctahatchee Bay and that has been purchased um, and will be given to the city along with a, a $900,000, I believe it's a 10-year grant to maintain and operate that park. So it will cost the, the citizens of Destin are going to get a very nice park for almost no expenditure. Uh, with the tax base in the city of Destin, we, we spent a great deal of time trying to gather grant money mm -hmm. to make all of this possible. And that's right, and um, that's actually going to start, we believe, in April. We're very close to that process and uh, looking at uh, just a few months away from groundbreaking and, and maybe even late in this, this year in 17 sure. having a brand new park. And as you're well aware, when you're dealing with grant money and, and, and all of the various government agencies that you go through to the, develop one of these. You're never quite sure, and some of these drag out for years, but uh, we're very hopeful that next year we're going to see a number of these parks reach completion, or at least the start of construction. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's exactly right. And speaking of dragging out, I hate to say it, but Noriega Point uh, Park Recreation Amenities, that's another one that's on the horizon. I think we have some movement taking place soon. I believe we do. <laughs> the bids are supposed to go out, or the offers for bids are supposed to go out to the potential bidders this month. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know exactly when those bids are going to be required to be returned, uh, but it will certainly be within the next two or three months. If things move as we currently hope, we will begin actual construction on this park by the fall of this year. That's right. I know the citizens of Destin have heard that for about five or six <laughs> years, but I think this year we're going to get it done. And while funds are in place, the DEP has those funds, a NERDA grant that we received uh, a, a few years ago, and, and it just, it's just been a long process, but I think we're seeing some light at the end of the tunnel. And good point. The DEP controls this, mm -hmm. uh, not only the, the funding, but the construction. And the city of Destin uh, plays a role, but we do not control it. And they're the ones that will see to it that it's done, but we're, we're told that this is the year. Well, I, I, we're going to hold out hope that that happens. <laughs> we, uh, let's move on through to something that I think has been very high profile, and that's the pedestrian signals that were put on Highway 98 back in July. Um, that's something that was very, uh, very public. I think everyone was able to understand that and see what that was. But look, walk us through that, uh, those, those pedestrian signals over on the highway. Well, looking forward to the pedestrian signals. I'm sure almost everyone is aware they've been operating now for six, six seven months. Mm -hmm. They are um, look to be very effective if people will use them. Mm -hmm. We had our last fatality. Uh, just before these were turned on, and we hope that is the last fatality. That's right. That's the main purpose of these cross lights. If, if, if folks will use them, 
Uh, I think they're conveniently located and it breaks traffic up and allows people to get across a very busy street, a very busy and dangerous street if you don't use the crosswalks. And that's, that's a very good point. As much as we encourage people to come to the harbor, um, and, and, and we're, it's a walkable area, we, we want people to be safe. And, that, and that's very important. And to put these measure, measures in late last summer, looking forward to the season, spring break in the summer this year, we're, we're thinking that that's going to make a very positive difference. Definitely, definitely, because as we grow, uh, as any growth is always going to be along the water, that's mm -hmm. where people want to be, along the harbor. Uh, as parking expands and we have the ability to grow the area, it's going to be across the street. We've mm -hmm. got to be able to develop a system that allows people to cross that street safely. Let's talk about one more success from last year, and that was our spring break initiative with the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office. And we're continuing that this year, but tell us why that's important. With the problems of at least one city in, in uh, northwest Florida and, and, and the things you read about spring break, I was very proud of the way the sheriff's department and the city and those involved, the rescue, fire uh, services, uh, lifeguards, everyone came together. We had a very productive summer with I would say minimal problems. Mm -hmm. uh, you're always going to have a few things that get out of hand and, and and you expect that with the spring break crowd but the, I know of no problems that we had this year that were quickly contained and allowed our citizens to have their privacy and the use of their their properties if they happen to live anywhere near the water. Well you know our collaboration with the sheriff's office showed that that working together makes a difference increased presence down there uh, in the Crystal Beach, Holiday Isle areas where we have concentrated uh, spring break crowds really made a difference. Mm -hmm. and, and it was important to continue to do that. We're going to do it again this year. Correct. We're going to do, primarily, we'll, we'll probably fine tune a few things. I'm sure the Sheriff's Department learns something new every year, and we do too. And there'll be some fine tuning, but basically the program that we uh, did last year will continue into this year, hopefully with the same success. Good. Well, very condensed amount of information, and we'll expand on that on February the 16th, or you will, with your State of the City address. We encourage everyone to come out to that. Again, February 16th, the City, the city of Destin uh, Annex, 4100 Indian Bayou Trail. Uh, Mayor Fisher will give his State of the City address. Thank you for being here today. Thanks for giving us a snapshot. Thanks for uh, encourage, let, giving me the time to encourage folks to attend our meeting. I hope they'll all come out. I think they will. We appreciate your time. Stay tuned for the City of Fort Walton Beach next.